Hi guys, it's Ray. Um, so I'm going to use this in this video, but I'm just going to do an intro before I even figure out what I'm going to use it on. Um, but I don't know if you've seen this yet, but Hog Outfitters Stainless Depot has produced their own epoxy now. This is Hog Fast Coat 16 ounce kit. Um, I... And I'm going to always, always, always recommend this. If you're trying a new epoxy, you get the smallest amount available because it may or may not work for you. Um, so I just got the 16 ounce. Um, if I like it, I can always get more. If it doesn't work for me, I'm not out that much money. So my advice is to order the smallest size possible when you are trying something new. Because I've even made the mistake of I bought the smallest kit and it worked for me last year. So I ordered a full gallon this year, not having used it in over a year. And that product didn't work for me. So when I don't tell you what epoxy I'm using or um, recommend an epoxy, that's why. Because what works for me doesn't even always work for me and may not work for you at all. So, uh I actually have preferred a smaller sample size, but this was the smallest they're offering. So, and I believe that this is like a two to four hour dry in between coats time. So I'm going to end the intro and we're going to give it a try. Um, it's fine print on the bottle, but I believe that's where it says the two to four hours in there. Yep. I can see it right up here. So. One to one mix, just like most of our epoxies, and let's get a cup going and see how we like it. Okay, I am finally getting around to testing my Hog Speed Fast Set Epoxy from Stainless Depot. Um, I'm excited to try it. I haven't tested a new epoxy in quite some time, and we are going to do it over this Butterfly Lane Design Print Co. Um, a holographic wrap of Jack in the stained glass effect. So, first things first, we're going to trim down our wrap and get it on the cup. I shouldn't put that too far yet. I did just spray paint the top with a satin nickel and the bottom with the satin nickel. In retrospect, I probably should have done black for this one, but it's too late now and we're not going to worry about it. It's not a good day for spray paint here anyways. Okay, so that should be a good fit. And the only reason I painted it at all was to cover up, like, the hog writing on the bottom. I have glitter everywhere, unfortunately. But I want to see if you can see my fingers don't want to work today. It is cold. This has that um, kind of textured back, like, channel lock technology. You can see it there, up here in the corner. Um, that helps it go on really, really nice and smooth and bubble-free, this vinyl. So if you're somebody that struggles with wraps, um, these are actually a really, really good choice. There's not really a lot of new technology in vinyl, but that is somewhat new. I do want to make sure I put this back on the right direction. And I'm going to place it. Oh, 
I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I'm losing my mind. I'm going to get it positioned where I want, just a little bit down from the top rim. That way the epoxy can get a good seal on top. Okay. I'm going to peel that anchor up. big squeegee and get it started and maybe a little further down than I wanted but it'll be what it'll be at this point because we are now into it but if you just chase it with the squeegee and push the backing off this vinyl will go on absolutely flawless I mean, that is perfect. I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and just kind of attempt to even this out a little bit. Because I'm not going to do any pinstriping or anything. I do need a sharper blade, but... Let's see if I can find a sharper one. Maybe. I did lift a little bit of my paint because my paint was fairly fresh, but on the stainless, I don't think it'll be all that noticeable in the long run. But isn't that beautiful? I am going to try to wipe any excess glitter off of this. So I'm just going to do that with a dry paper towel. just because I know there is some, there's an awful lot of glitter floating around this room right now. So odds are there will be a speck or two, but I'm going to get this over and get it straight under the epoxy and we'll give this a test. It's about five o'clock, so anyways, it's about five o'clock, so if I get this coat on now, um, the first coat should be dry in it says two to four hours. It's quite chilly in here today, so um, we're just going to see where we're at at the two hour mark ish. Okay, so I'm getting ready to mix this for the first time. I'm going to say two things first. I don't like the caps, I don't like that they're both white, and I don't like that they are push and turn, and they both have. A one and two on them as part of the opening directions. I feel like uh, this is kind of a recipe for disaster. I have never seen an epoxy other than um, maybe one other that had the same color cap on both bottles. And the only time I've seen the same color cap on both bottles is when they're actually black bottles that you can't see the resin inside at all. That's there as like an extra UV barrier. Any clear bottles I've ever seen have had two different color caps. So I feel like you really need to pay attention to the marking on the front. And again, I don't like the push and twist. I feel like that's really difficult to open. Um, this seal came off pretty clean on the B. The A came off uh, an absolute disaster so but I'm gonna mix up 10 and 10 I don't normally mix on camera but in this case we're going to and this is very very thick so this will be interesting uh, I probably should have given them a little bit of a water bath She is thick. Okay. 
So if the B was that thick, I'm a little concerned about the A. Um, but again, it is very cold, but you can see how dirty that seal came off. Not dirty, but um, messy. Yeah, the A is very, very thick. I suspect this will thin out fairly quickly as I start mixing. So that is measured. I did 10 and 10. Caps are back on. I'm hoping that this will start to react with itself and thin out some. But who knows? I do have to say that I do believe this is going to have a really nice UV resistancy um, because this has been sitting on my desk by the window since I got it and the color is really pure still, which is kind of a big deal. So I'm going to finish mixing this up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it does say in the bottle that it has five to ten minutes of working time. So I don't really want to let it sit too long for bubble releasing. So I will do bubbles with my torch. Um, because I don't want this to start setting up. Because I did torch the top of it a couple times while I was mixing. Just to try and loosen it up a little bit. So... And it does say it has good UV inhibitors, which I could tell just by the bottles. So that's always a bonus. And I think they have a second epoxy out now. I could be wrong, but I'm going to look at the website again. And I will put a picture up on the screen if they do. I bought the smallest size, like I said, in the unboxing, just because... I waste so much money on epoxy that I can't use and it changes so much what works that I just I can't do it anymore so and I should be wearing a second glove I'm so used to using the other stuff I've been using that um, I can get away without a second glove and I know I don't have a reaction to at this point so that was a mistake on my part to only put one glove on for this It does say it's compatible with alcohol inks and pigments and all of that. So, but I think that five to 10 minute working time is still prohibitive of doing an alcohol swirl. Um, I may still try one with just a couple of colors, not a tremendous amount of colors in it. Um, just to see. You guys know normally I test a new epoxy with a rainbow alcohol ink tumbler. Uh, five to ten minutes working time is not enough to do a rainbow swirl without issues in my opinion. Or for me at any rate. So that is it. We have full coverage. I am going to torch it. And then I'll probably let it sit a couple minutes and then I'll probably torch it again. And it really doesn't look bad at all. It went on really nice. If it dries like this, it's going to have a beautiful glass coat. 
Okay, so my timer that I had set for two hours just went off, and I'm just going to gently tap the bottom. And it is still tacky, but I would say not moving. So I'm going to let this go till it's time for me to go to work. And I'm going to say I'm going to have like a four-hour cure on this because it's so cold. Or four-hour dry. Um, but like I said, I'm going to turn it off when it's time for me to leave for work. And then we'll come look at it tomorrow when it is completely dry. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, this is dry. I mean, it is fantastic. Um, definitely pleased with this epoxy. I'm trying not to handle it too much on the outside because it's very glossy and it is definitely going to pick up fingerprints of mine. But for as cold as that mixed, it's relatively bubble free. I mean, I actually don't really see any. Um, it's super glossy and it dried just fine. So, um, definitely, I mean, even in my cold environment, it, yeah, I'm not going to handle it too much, but here, let me handle it all over. <laughs> it definitely dried just fine in my cool environment and yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this one. So that is the new hog speed what's it called hog speed the new hog speed fast set epoxy over a holographic wrap from butterfly lane designs super simple cup uh big big impact though i absolutely love it my hands are warmer than the air so it's yeah definitely shiny and awesome though so Big thumbs up in my book. I may order some more of that. If it's going to work consistently through winter, that is great because I have been looking for something that's going to work again for me. So I am super pleased, but that is it for this one. And I will see you next time.